Hi, I'm Scott Rogers, director of the University of Miami School of Law's Mindfulness and Law program. And this exercise is a foundation level mindfulness or awareness practice that has us look to a visualization or a sensualization as a way to relieve stress and bring awareness to what's taking place a little bit more deeply in the present moment. As with all of the uh, Jurisite mindfulness exercises, this is one of the learned hand exercises because we look to the judge learned hand who had that uh, capacity to be clear of mind and focused in the work that he did and bring a little bit of that into uh, this moment and this exercise. And so let's begin. This one is, a, as I said, a visualization or a sensualization where we bring awareness into the senses. In this case, it'll be the three senses of sight, sound, and touch, and perhaps tone down a little bit of that chatter uh, running through the mind. And what's most important and what's sort of core to the mindfulness practice is that how is this happening? How might we be making this shift? Because you're choosing to do so. You're choosing to make this shift, to make this change. So we can begin by finding a, a place to sit. If it's comfortable, terrific. If it's not so comfortable, that's okay. We bring ourselves with awareness into a seated posture. Uh, lower or close our eyes. And we can lower or close our eyes because it can be helpful for toning down some of the stimulation that feeds into this brain and into this visual cortex. So we lower or close our eyes. And if you would imagine before you uh, the bench of a judge, you're sitting behind the bench of a judge, perhaps even Judge Learned Hand's bench, sitting in a chair, bringing awareness to breathing, aware of the in-breath, aware of the out-breath, allowing breathing to be just as it is, not trying to change it, but rather to notice the breathing that's happening in this moment. And then imagining before you, on this bench, a gavel, a judge's gavel. Perhaps it's been there, perhaps it appears the typical, traditional, wooden gavel. And notice it with your eyes, that is, the eyes in your mind, your mind's eye. And then slowly, in your mind's eye, using your imagination, reach out your hand, say your right hand, slowly aware of the movement of your hand as it reaches out and picks up the gavel, aware of the weight of the gavel, aware of how it is top-heavy as you lift it up, as you breathe, noticing and paying attention to the sensations in the hand and to a sense of the sight of this gavel, and then playing with it in terms of allowing it to move up and down as you play with the weight, sizing it up, finding a balance point as you hold it, and then when you're ready, having the gavel strike the table five times, listening if you're able to hear the sound of the gavel as it meets the top of the bench. Noticing as you do the motion of the hand as it strikes the table with the gavel. And then, aware of breathing, shift the gavel from one hand to the other so that now it 
resides in the other hand. And then do the same. Feel its weight, notice its top heaviness, adjust it so that you find a comfortable balance point in holding it as you breathe. See it in your mind's eye. We're exploring the senses here and you'll find for yourself where the senses allow for a, a resonant experiencing of this and where it may not. So maybe it's sight and you can see it but not feel it. Maybe you can hear it. Maybe you can do all of those things a little bit or a lot. But you can know that you're doing this as you're doing it. And then when you're ready, having that gavel strike five times, aware of breathing and open to the sound that you may hear as you do. No rush. Aware of the movement of the hand, aware of sound, aware of sight. And then placing the gavel down on the top of the bench, bringing your hands, if you will, back to resting in your mind's eye where they are resting in this moment. And then, when you're ready, lifting your gaze or opening your eyes, aware of transitioning back to the sights before you, the sounds in your midst. You may find this exercise to be one that's helpful for bringing about a little reduction in the stressfulness, the antsiness of the day. To do this exercise requires that we make that deliberate shift from here to here allowing the breath to guide us through that exercise. And because it has this quality of allowing, perhaps, for there to be a more focused, concentrated awareness that we bring to the moments that follow, we call this particular learned hand exercise order in the cortex. Order in the cortex. I hope you find this exercise to be helpful and wish you all the best.